just about to start the third quarter here for the first BDAFL Women's 70, um, Semi-Final of 2018. We're here at Weirman Field, Musselbrook, with Clannyvale Bombers versus the Singleton Roosters. Maddie Edsel and Caitlin Sims in the ruck. Actually, I think Janelle Toker might be back in the ruck. Timekeeper's just taking the time to sound the siren. Oh, no, it was the, it was the goal umpires that were taking their time. So off and away. Umpire blows the whistle. It's a free kick. Yeah, it's an our free kick. I meant Kalanivale free kick, sorry. I'm um, with all the Kalanivale spectators. It's a Kalanivale free kick due to Singleton entering the square before the ball was bounced. Butler running hard, goes for a goal and it could be it. No. Some good work in the full back from the Roosters once again. And no Mark D. Good handle from Jeffries Tapper. Jenkins, good handball out to Tash Gregory. So it'll be another ball up from Rachel Robinson, the umpire out there, number 29. He'll pull it up for both sides. And so it's Jeffries Tapper that's now in the ruck for the Roosters. So Jeffries Taffer kind of won at that time. So it'll be a third consecutive rock contest. Toka won. Toka won at that time. Lucky attempt from Wood to get it out. And the same goes with Jeffries Tapper. Very tight contest. No one can seem to get it out and run away. That's what's been going on all game. But at least the ball the ball has has continuously been sliding closer to the Colonial Ford 50, something what Spade really enjoy. <laughs> It'll be another free kick to Kalani Vale. <laughs> and Dallas Jacobson taking her time to hand it over. Who will get there? Will Shana Dorney get it first? Do you need to get it out? It's a free kick to the Roosters. Kind of looked like a high there, but the okay, will let them get away with that one. So Jade Moody had the free kick. Clannivale need to put on pressure to not let Singleton score. Go Jazz, go with her! Go Jade! That's alright! Kill. I must have Time. <laughs> so, some good job in the right contest from both sides. Wood having a hard time trying to dispose of the ball. Umpire comes over and says, Okay, I'll sort this out with a ball up. So, Toka brings it to the ground. Hard bell! Hard bell! So, Jenkins needs to cut the ball watching habit. Sky Bailey having trouble trying to kick it. Especially seeing Clannyvale are starting to slack off a little. 
even though it's only 27 to 0. Howard pops it short, high but short, umpire blows the whistle, it will be another ball up as the ball goes out on the full. Jazz, Jazz Strange can shoot, good handball to Kelleher. And no mark do. Go Dix! Work! Dixie Butler, a good handball, but to the wrong player. Got to go! Cash! But still a nice kick there, though, from Hayley Fraser. Come on, Dix! Go, Go again! Work! Lennon Scott pops it short. High but short. Sky Bailey wins it instead. got to work! And... It will go out on the full, and it does. Good girl, Sky. So it'll be another throw in. Toka and the Rock against Edsel once again. And a good tackle from Strange right around the legs. And Butler. Hard. We'll have to if she wants another possession. To use her extraordinary marking skills once again against the opposition who are still yet to score. Hopefully for the technically the home side it should stay that way. Another good kick there from Fraser. And the umpire blows a whistle. Singleton play on. Tori Calvin went for a shot for goal and it went way too far to the left. She went blazing through. But that kick went blazing out. She's a very fast player though. It was good to see her have a run like that. But it's still yet yeah, no score for the Singleton and Roosters. <laughs> Finally, here, here comes Sky Bailey. She emerges from the trees to grab the ball. So good kick from Sky Bailey. A sensational kick, nice and high, and it goes out in the full. So it'll be another throw in. So the tight contest still continues for both of these sides. Almost a tackle from Toka. Good to see her let go when she yeah, actually didn't have the ball. Good hands from Belle Jenkins. And a good kick from Belle Jenkins. Kelsey. And almost a contest. Went out the fall. Keeps going out in the fall. It always does. Has been quite a lot this game and especially seems to happen a lot somehow in the second and fourth quarters. And that's the third quarter. So the umpire has the ball to throw it up. 
So Toka is up in the ruck. And Lynn and Scott copped a bit of a bump there from Butler. Nice disposal there. And oh, I think there might be a goal. It's a goal to the Roosters. Heads up, girls! Plenty of know it's okay. They know to keep their heads up. They're still 21 points ahead. Singleton will need to kick four more goals to get in front. And for an intense game like this, I don't know if that might seem possible for them. But Clannavale still need to just keep playing and keep their heads up too. It's only one goal. They're technically the home side. Technically the away side actually. Better and stay on the targets. Sky Bailey, can she get away? Good kick. That's out on the four. Yeah, it will be another free kick to the rest. Another tight contest. Throw. Good tackle, will be another free. Uh, won't, won't be a free kick this time, will be a ball up. Strange up against Calvin. A good handball out from Strange. Another good tackle from Butler. Butler goes for another possession. Just having a hard time picking it up. Sky Bailey doesn't. Good kick from Bailey. Judgment Strange, she's all by herself. Or just then she wasn't. Good kick by the wind. Always seems to continue to blow it out. Very windy day today. Pressure, pressure still continues. Ball three in a row that Clonville tried to keep the ball in the field. Yeah, it goes out. So it's a free kick to Calvin. Beautiful kick from Calvin. Another mark there from Tash Gregory. Who will get there in time? Beautiful kick from Kelleher. Almost a mark. Dixie Butler goes to put on a tackle and a bit too late there. Almost a mark from Butler. Can she get away? She's having trouble picking it up. Has trouble getting it out as well. She's under a lot of pressure. Clannivelle will need to start getting over to help her. This should be another good kick from Bailey and it is. And it's an ultimate getaway from Thompson. Go D. Good kick from Toka. Attack the ball! No! The wrong way. Nice kick from Jenkins, but went the wrong way. Huh. Reminds me of the time when the Bombers were at home against Lake Macquarie back in round seven when Hannah Page kicked it the wrong way, which resulted in a Dockers goal. Let's hope this time it doesn't result in a goal for Singleton. It's what Kalani Vale would be thinking. It's bad enough to get it in the opposition's forward line. But, um, Tash Gregory goes to pick up the football. And she doesn't have the ball. Georgia Butler needs to run over and help. Oh, 
Clonabel still having a hard time picking up the ball. Just is handling this problem fairly well though. And Kaya McBride just waited for the ball to come to her. Kelleher with the ball. Beautiful kick. Shana Dorney with the ball, a nice kick. That's a drop pass. And it's another mark from the Roosters. Not the best of kicks. Good, go, Dick, Shepard, it. Shepard. Good kick from Dixie Butler. Oh, it looks like it could be a goal, but not. Nah. Roosters keep getting there in time. So, Hayley Richards. What? What, Jazz? The fullback for the Roosters. She's played awesome this Your game. Jazz, Jazz. Jazz, gotta go! Get over and help Jazz her! Strange goes Shepard, for the contest, go for the ball. Out the back, Woody! Out the back! Beautiful tackle from Tennille Toka. Go, Bale! Go, Bailey. Almost a good handball. Georgia Butler, nice kick. He will take it. Definitely not Laura Rosa, not that time. Definitely getting very intense this quarter. Kelleher is okay. There from Lynn and Scott. Go, Bale. Go, Bale. Go, Sky Bailey. Go, Bale. Get rid of it. Has to get rid of it sometime Go, soon. Wrong option. Went right to Tori Calvin, one of the Roosters' best players. Come on, Tyler. Almost a mark from Singleton. Clanvale need to get over and start playing as a team. A good Donagi from Josh Go, Cutler Josh. pushed her right out of the boundary. Go, Go. Clonyvale need to run hard. Clonyvale bench getting very rowdy. A good kick from Calvin. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Might, might not be a mark. It's not, it goes out on the fall. Umpire blows the whistle to say out on the fall. Maz get ready. A good handball from Jeffries Tapper to Rosa. Nice kick, Rosa. Another good kick from Moody. Now who's there? Nice kick there from Bales. Sky Bailey, that is. That looked like a high. And Kelleher puts on another hit. And puts another one on again. A beautiful tackle. And Singleton retaliate. Now who has the football? It's out in the contest, out the edge of the Singleton Ford 50. Only about two minutes left to go. About 10 minutes, I'd say. Two minutes, I'd say, left to go. So a good kick from Butler. No mark, dude. From Kelleher. Dixie Butler running hard. Help us, Shaz! Help us, Shepard! She'll need help. Another good kick. And Richards. Can she get away now? It's a high contact. Haley Richards ends up winning the ball anyway. Over the head of Kelleher. Another kick there from Gregory. Starting to get a little messy. And Jeffries Tapper takes the takes the mark. Push back, push back, push back, push back, push back, push back. All players need a push back. Good kick from Jeffries Tapper.
not have the football there. Of course, it's another free kick to Simpleton. Umpires are paying a lot of free kicks to them. So the sign should go in a few seconds or maybe just about now. Clowney Vale will probably want to go over off Jeffrey's tapas then she'll miss the goal. But due to the wind it could go anywhere. And it does. So one goal, one seven for Singleton. It goes out to the left. Siren goes. It's three quarter time. Clowney Vale, four goals, three, 27 to Singleton. One goal, one behind seven. So Terriga Lavica with only one loss have today off. But up next we have the first semi-final for the Black Diamond Cup between Singleton and Warners Bay for a chance to stay in the race for Australia's oldest sporting trophy. And in semi-final number two, Newcastle City and Kalani Vale face to do the same task. There's the Cardiff vs Wong Lakes game tomorrow, also at Don Small Oval, the Magpies home ground, but the Hawks home game. William and Field, Max McMahon Oval and Don Small Oval, the venues for the first week of finals for all three games, and the number one sports ground at the Adelaide Street Oval will be the venues for the prelims and of course the number one sports ground home of the Newcastle City Blues has always been and always will be the grand final stadium for the Black Diamond AFL.